Hey guys and welcome back to a new little Jetpack Compose tutorial and in this tutorial I will show you how you can build a multi-line custom hint text field in Jetpack Compose. So I think it's best if I just show you what I mean here. This is a custom text field. Very often you have apps with custom UI requirements so you can't use the normal material design text fields. And these custom text fields in Jetpack Compose don't support having hints by default. So we would need to implement that on our own. Displaying a hint itself is pretty easy because we can just check, okay, if, if this text field is currently focused and empty, then we show an additional text on the text field. However, for multi-line text fields, doing this is quite, I don't wanna say quite complex, but it's not trivial. Because the hint is a separate composable in this case, we also need to make sure that the text field expands with the hint if we, if we allow it to have multiple lines. So if we type something here, um, like hello, you will see that now it will adjust to the size of our actual text and it will expand as many lines as we want until it reaches a certain um, amount of maximum lines and then this text here becomes scrollable. So I will show you how we can create such custom text fields. And it's really not about this ugly gray text field, but rather just a text field you can freely design based on your UI requirements. I'll also show you how you can always make the hint perfectly fit into this text field, even if the hint spans over multiple lines. And while all this sounds very complex, the solution to this is actually fairly simple, but I think many people don't know that uh, this is a way of using a text field in Compose. So just empty Jetpack Compose project, we're gonna go to our root package and create our custom multi-line hint text field. Make it a file, Create a composable custom multi align hint text field. It'll take a value parameter. It will take a modifier. It will take an on value changed function, which will just give us the new value whenever we type something. Um, let's put that as parameter number two. We then want to have a hint text, which is simply a string and empty by default. So it's optional um, if we want to have a hint or not. We want to be able to pass a text style just from Compose. The default will be material, theme, typography, body one. And finally, we want to be able to have a number of max lines, which I'll default to four. So the max lines will um, determine how many lines this text field will then expand if we enter new lines. And after um, having four lines, it will start to become scrollable. And then in here, we are going to use a basic text field. So in Jetpack Compose, we have these different text fields like the normal text field. We have an outline text field, but all these are just material design specific text fields. So they already have an implemented design which just looks like these typical Google text fields. Very often you don't want that in your apps. In these cases, you will need to use a basic text field which is basically just a transparent container where you can input text. And it's completely up to you how you style this transparent container and if you leave it transparent or not. Let's start to add the value which is very easy and on value changed. We can pass our text style directly and we can pass the max lines as well. Our max lines like this. Now, how do we do this with our hint? Normally, you often see this uh, for text fields that use a hint in Compose uh, that just below this, you have something like if value is not empty and, um, oops, and is focused for example, actually is not focused, then, um, focused, <laughs> then show some kind of text composable here, which would represent the hint. The problem with this is that if the hint goes over multiple lines, then if this text has multiple lines, this won't directly increase the space our text field fills because this text is not really part of our text field. And that is the problem with these common approaches of implementing a hint text field in Compose. And the way we can fix this is we can use this decoration box. And that is what I meant. With that, it's really easy to implement a hint, but I don't think many people know that this thing even exists and what it does. And you can see the parameter we get in this lambda is another lambda, and we can call this inner text field. And this is a lambda we need to call exactly once in this decoration box lambda, which will basically tell our outer, our real text field, where we want to input the actual text. But apart from that, we can still add other composables inside of this de decoration box. We can then use to style this. And 
part of that could be our hint because the advantage is that this decoration box is now part of this text field and if this grows that means our text field will also grow. So what we can do is we can have a box in here where we pass our modifier because if we want our text field to expand then we also want to grow this decoration box in this case so the style of our real text field. And in here we're going to check if the value is empty because then we want to show our hint and you could also implement that the hint is shown if the the hint is not shown if the text field is focused. Um, in case you want that, that is something I don't know if you would want that. Um, but in that case, you could add a modifier and say um, focus on focus changed. And this is called whenever the focus of this text field changes, you get the focus date. You can then use to check if it is focused. You can put that into your state. And then, yeah, you know if the text field is currently focused or not. I'll leave that out here and uh, just show the hint if the text field's content is empty. So in that case, we can simply show a text. The text will be our hint text. And the color of this will be, um, because we want to um, slightly gray this out, it will be local content color dot current. And we say that copy because we want to make this slightly transparent with the alpha of content alpha dot medium. So this local content color will refer to, well, the content color, whatever kind of text color we use here. We copy this and make this color a little bit transparent. The medium one here, even if we take a look at the documentation, uh, it, it's recommended to use the medium content alpha, for example, for placeholder text in a text field, which is exactly our use case here. And then after this, right here in the box, we show our inner text field above our hint. But in the end, we will just show either the hint or our inner text field. Because if there is some text in our inner text field, our real text field, then the hint won't be shown. And <laughs> that's really everything we need to do to be able to achieve this type of behavior. You can see this is super simple, but I don't think many think of this decoration box and have very complex implementations here, maybe calculating um, how high a specific line is, then multiplying that to determine the height of our text field. And I've seen very crazy implementations there, and this is really the easiest and most reliable solution. Let's try this out in main activity. Let's add a column. Modifier is modifier fill max size. Let's add a bit of padding of 16 dp. I'll enter to import that. And then in there, we're going to have our custom multi-line hint text field. And usually in a, in a real product, I would leave out this custom, by the way, because this doesn't really add any value to this. Um, I would just call it multi-line hint text field. But I use this just to stress out uh, that this is a really focus on a custom design. In here, we want to have a text state. So we can have a var text by remember mutable state of empty string by default. I'll enter to import that. I'll enter import again. Pass in our text. When the text changes, we say our text is now the new text. We want to assign a hint text, something like hello world. We then have a new line, hello world. And let's have one more new line, hello world, something like this. And the way we can now style this is with our dear modifiers. So we just assign a modifier, for example, with fill max width. We could clip this to a rounded corner shape, for example, with 100% to have perfect round corners. We could then give it a background color of, I don't know, material theme colors that surface maybe. We can then give it a bit of padding, 16 dp. You could add shadows. You could now style this as you like. You would also give it a border, for example. Um, so feel free to play around with that. Let's just launch this as it is and see how it looks like. This is still the old app. Okay, we get a completely black pill here, um, which is because my device is in dark theme and we haven't adjusted the uh, hint color here. I would say we just change this to something we can see here, um, just to see if this works, to light gray, for example. We launch this and then yeah, it's the same color. Of course, this looks super weird with um, full rounded corners. Um, we can adjust this to something like 5 dp, for example. And then we can see it looks like in my sample. If we now type something here and say hello, then it will shrink to just having one line. And we can enter up to four lines here. If we change our max lines right here, max lines to something like seven, for example, and take a look, then it will expand up to 
seven lines, so a little bit more. And with that, you now have a very easy to adjust text field that supports a hint, that supports multiple lines, and that expands with, um, yeah, when typing. So I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If so, you will definitely also enjoy my more advanced Android premium courses, which you can find using the first link in this video's description. Apart from that, thanks for watching, and I will wish you an amazing rest of your week. See you back in the next video. Bye-bye.